Hello now friends, I'm Ryan and this is Demos in the Dark and tonight we have a new one from Wrought Iron Effects and it's the second in the Cold War series. This is Skipjack Reactive Overdrive and it's not a fill in the blank. This overdrive definitely has its own thing going on. I've never played anything exactly like it before in my life. First thing I'm gonna do here is run it down on a mix on multiple guitar tracks and come on back here. We'll run through Skipjack with single and dual coil pickups. deeper dive into Skipjack from Rot Iron Effects. Now, we'll start with the controls. There are two controls on this pedal, and there are two controls essentially on your guitar, a volume and a tone. And you use all four of those to make overdrive sounds. They're all very, very interactive with each other. So propulsion is essentially like a volume control. And then the reactor, determines how hard the signal will hit the JFET transistor. And so you use all of these together and get really, really great sounds. All right, we are going to start out with humbuckers tonight. And for that, I am using a Heritage Guitars H535 with Righteous Sound R-Top pickups in it. And I'm running into a Benson Amps Monarch Reverb, and it's not glassy clean. This is not the kind of pedal that you want to be glassy clean. I don't think it would be as satisfying running through like a 100 watt twin. It is something that you want to be interacting with the preamp on your amp. So not totally clean, sounds like this. So I'm gonna turn some knobs and make some sounds, but I think the knobs on this pedal are really just there to make us feel better because it will we'll get to full tilt pretty quickly and then everything else that we're gonna do is gonna be down here.
go single coils now for that. I grabbed a Scythe Guitars OH-19 and we're still running into the Monarch. One thing that's really cool about this pedal is that when you're on 10, there's this nice mid hump, but when you bring it down to nine, just nine, you take it down one tick, and all of a sudden that mid hump goes away. So you can run nine and below for all of your rhythm stuff and then it's time to jump into a solo. Clicking on to 10, you get that nice mid hump and it's really cool. So listen for that as we're going along here, doing the exact same thing that we did before. <laughs> very brief look at the skipjack from wrought iron effects very very cool pedal and very usable pedal very amp like pedal there's lots of amp like characters to it and that eq bump on that between the 9 and 10 is really really cool i really enjoy that a lot this stuff is always just very i hate this word but it's very organic sounding it's very real sounding so that's awesome so thank you ed for sending this over for me to check out and thank you for your time